Now it's time to set up the lighting. We can adjust the lights from the Environment tab on the right side. I click on this and here we have three options. The first one is GeoSky. Here you can rotate the sun around the model and find the best angle. You can also add clouds if you want and change the view outside the window. You're watching a full lesson from my D5 Render visualization course. To explore the full course, click the link in the top right corner or check the description below the video. A second option is custom. It's a little bit more advanced. Here you can change sun intensity, sand disk radius, change altitude or change azimuth. And we can get very interesting light effect. And the third one, my favorite one, is HDRI tab. In this place, we can upload HDRI map from the list. Here we have all HDRI maps in the library. Or we can add a customized HDRI map from the folder. I choose this option, go to Lights folder and choose my HDRI map. I wait a second and it has changed. Then I can change the settings. I can change intensity of HDRI map and I can rotate to change the view outside the window and the lighting inside. But I would like to get rid of this terrain so I hide it and then I can rotate the view. I think that now it looks great. What's very important, if you want to save these lighting settings, you need to go to Scene tab and update the scene. If you don't do this, the light settings will reset to the default Geo Sky setup next time. So remember, when you are changing lighting setup, you need to click Update Scene over here and this setup will be saved. Okay, it's time to create different source of light. It will be Spotlight. That's why I click on Add Lights over here and choose Spotlight. I place it somewhere here and here I have Settings. Firstly, we need to set IES file. We can choose IES file from the library or again, we can customize IES. I click on this option and I will choose my own IES file, which I use very often from the folder. Great. I go to scene one and now we can change other settings. But before I do that, I go to environment tab, HDRI and decrease intensity of HDRI map in this way, we can notice how IES light illuminates the scene. Then I go to Inspector tab and change IES light settings. We can change con angle. I will decrease it. I will set it something around 50. And I can change the temperature. I will make it warmer, something around 4000 kelvins. Yeah, and it looks great. Okay, it's time to increase the intensity of HDRI map slightly, just a little bit. And I will copy IES light. How to do this? I will change navigation to orbit. I come a little closer. Maybe I will change intensity again. Okay, now it looks much better. And I press left shift and move IES light to the right. And let's see that it's copied. I will place it somewhere here. Everything is fine. And again, I select them by pressing left control. I select two light sources. I press left shift and move it to the right. And again, it's copied. I select them again, press left shift and copy it again. In this way, we have six light sources. We can adjust them, change their position, but I think that everything works great. I go to scene one. And again, I can change intensity of HDRI map to check how IS light works. Okay, I think that everything is fine. Maybe in some places this light is too intense. That's why I will change their intensity. But before I do that, I will create a new layer. I will rename it to IS light. Then I select all the spotlights from the objects tab. I press left shift to select all IS lights and move them to IES Lights layer. That's all. Everything is placed in the correct layer. And let's see that I can turn this layer on or off. Let's change current layer to default layer. And now we can play with IES Light settings very quickly. If you want to change IES settings at once, just right click on IES Lights layer 
and choose Select All Objects. Then go to the right side and you can decrease intensity of IS lights, for example, to 50. And that's all. Let's see that some of the lights are too intense on the left side. That's why I go up, select this light and I can turn it off or I can decrease intensity of this specific light. I can always rotate it to the right side, for example. This is the same with this light, probably from this source. Yeah, and I can rotate it decrease intensity. So it's very easy to change the settings of the light. We can change the direction, intensity, color, everything is very, very fast. Okay, that's all. I go to scene one and it looks great. I decrease intensity of HDRI map to zero and here is the effect from IS lights only. It's very subtle, but it's quite visible. Okay, let's go to scene one. Everything works fine. And here I can hide IS light or show it. We can notice very small difference. In this way, we have finished setting up all the lighting. I will save the project and we can move on to materials. This was just a one lesson. If you want to go further and learn D5 render step by step, click the link in the top right corner or in the description. I'd love to see you in the course.